Guys, uh, Facebook is having some kind of technical difficulties. We hope that you're still here with us. As we were on number five, talking about the five things you need to know and understand about your mindset or your thoughts. So number five, we were just saying that you can change your thoughts. Your thoughts are subject to change. And that's any thought. That's any preconceived notion that you had, any traumatizing events that you have that continues to put you in a negative state of mind. All of those things are subject to change. Just because we think a way today, a certain way today, or we heard uh, or we have a certain experience with something, doesn't mean that it has to stay that way. Our thoughts are subject to change. And that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow, ways for you to change and subject your thoughts to change. So that's what we want to talk about. Uh, Malaya, what's one consuming thought that you have that runs over and over in your mind? Maybe that's... Uh, either positive or negative, but just a thought that plays in your mind over and over again. Could you share one of those with us? Um, I'm not <clears throat> very big on forgiving people when I've been done wrong. So I guess a thought in my head is like, they're not going to do me like that again, or I got to get even, or like, I didn't deserve that or stay away. Like basically just stay to myself. Like no to people. <laughs> like I don't want people. Yeah. So so thoughts that we have to where uh, the experiences that we have that were not uh, good experiences, they do affect our thoughts and how we think. And so uh, it it's then affects the relationships moving forward in our life because we always go back in our mind to the point to where, oh, you did me wrong. No, I got to keep that barrier up. And so that can be a hindrance in life because in order for us to be successful in life, as successful as we're going to be, we have to know how to subject our thoughts to change and to change for the betterment. All right. Uh, we hope that you joined us for the last half of this video, please leave a comment in the comment section. We do apologize for the technical difficulties that we have tonight. I just want to run down the five um, things you should know about your thoughts again, just in case you missed it. But if you're here with me now, go ahead and hit that like button and share it. We're glad you're here and joining us tonight. As you can see, I am enjoying these two beauties. I am glad they're home and it just makes my day. And also you can see we got a new co-co host here, Miss Talia Jackson. So she's been with me for about two weeks now and I have just been delighted to have them. They are my blessings. And I just I'm just grateful for them. So everything about them, uh it it shows. My gratefulness it shows. I just love them. Love them, love them. The biggest blessing, uh, and and you can look at coronavirus as a a negative, but I see it all positive because my babies are home and I get to enjoy them. So it, it's it's all a positive here. I don't I don't have any negative thoughts, uh, as you can see, because this is a blessing, guys. If you're at home and your thoughts have been negative, because Oh, what am I going to do with the kids and this and that? And Corona has just come and disrupted your whole life. It's all in your mindset, honey. I'm telling you, it's all about how you think a thing. I'm blessed in spite of everything going on outside these walls. I am blessed because what's inside these walls, that's all that matters, guys. Please like and share this video as I run down the five things uh, you need to know and understand about your thoughts. Number one, your thoughts are influenced by something or someone. Number two, just because you think it doesn't make it right or wrong. Number three, everything consumed through your senses directly or indirectly affects your thoughts. Number four, 
your thoughts show up in everything you do. And, and for some of us, everything we say too, because some of us don't have a filter. So let me just throw that in there too, okay? <laughs> just know she, she, she testifying to that. I'm telling you, honey, it shows up in everything you do. Yes, yes, yes. Like and share this video, guys. And last but not least, number five, what I want to leave with you is you can change your thoughts. Your thoughts are subject to change. And that's going to lead us into our tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night's video showing you ways how to subject your thoughts to change. I appreciate you joining us tonight and sacrificing this time with us. Any last words, ladies? In the words of Talia, mop, 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 mop. All right, y'all have a good night, guys.